Alright, what's up everybody? Yo, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get the new left tackle, 87 overall, Teron Armstead, how you can add him to your team. Hopefully, he's going to be an absolute force, a mammoth, a mere man mammoth myth on the outside, stopping some of those edge rushers. But hey, listen, real quick, a small plug before we get into the video. I would love it if you went over to my Twitch channel. It is twitch.tv forward slash X. There's going to be a link in the description of this video. All you got to do is click on it. If you like what you see here, if you like what you see over there, it mean a lot to me, man. If you went and gave me a follow, so go ahead and give me a follow uh, over there, twitch.tv forward slash X. We stream a lot of Madden content, so if you're watching this video, I'm sure you're going to have some fun in the stream. All right, and before I show you how we're going to get Teron Armstead, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to take you very long. Let's go through some of his attributes, man, some of his key ratings. Uh, he's got 85 strength, 86 pass block, 87 pass block power, 87 pass block finesse. The 86 pass block makes him the fifth highest left tackle. The 87 pass block power is actually the best among left tackles right now in the game. And then the 87 pass block finesse is going to be the second best among any left tackle in the game. So you're getting one of the best pass blocking left tackles in the game right now now if you like to run this is not the best left tackle but he's still going to be serviceable no doubt he's got 84 run blocking just a side note if you wanted to use the strategy item pave the way this does grant additional run blocking attributes but it's only to right tackles right guards and centers it is worth noting you cannot change teron armstead's position here from left tackle to right tackle so the pave the way strategy item is going to do no good if you're looking to upgrade his run blocking now you can get some of his pass blocking attributes up a little bit more if you want to go grab the iron wall strategy item that is good for left tackles and right tackles and it's going to get his pass blocking attributes up a little bit more even though you don't really need that maybe if you're getting that only for teron armstead go ahead and get a different strategy item something for the wide receivers the quarterback something like that all right lastly and then we're going to get over to how we're actually going to be getting teron armstead let's go through some of the abilities he gets so he does get edge protector it is a three ability point ability it's 350 training get grant stronger pass protection versus the elite edge rushers so we're talking chase young bruce smith mike frable those kind of edge rushers that are in the game right now not sure how edge protector works but it is there if you want to try it out his tier two abilities pretty standard from anybody that does get a tier two abilities as far as the left tackles go here are those abilities if those are interesting to you and then his tier one abilities they're going to be every tier one ability that all of the left tackles get so just going through real quick if they do interest you that's them and they're usually typically only one ability point all right so now let's go ahead and get into how to get teron armstead and i'll tell you right now i was able to do this on stream last night it took me about maybe a little over two hours to do but i was actually just chilling we were watching thursday night football but we weren't watching on the stream because that's illegal but i was watching thursday night football people in the chat were watching thursday night football it was a good time and i was just laid back chilling playing getting some of these challenges done to get teron armstead so if you're going through it a little bit more aggressively than I can, you can definitely get it done in under two hours. But we're going to click on the Field Pass tab. We're going to come down to the Ultimate Kickoff tab here. Now, these are some of the rewards you're going to get. So not only are we going to get Teron Armstead, but we're going to get additional rewards. Hopefully, EA is going to grant them out like they should. They have. I'll go ahead and tell you that. But I still haven't gotten my rewards from like a week and a half ago, so that's awesome. But yeah, you're going to get additional rewards. Level 2 is going to grant 10,000 XP. You're going to get a 76 overall ultimate kickoff player. You're also going to get a contender token. I'm going to talk a little bit about more of this contender token here in a second. You're going to get 20,000 XP at level 4. Level 5 is 10,000 coins. Level 6 is 28,000 XP. And then level 7 is what we're really going for. That's going to be Teron Armstead. It should be noted. This is an account bound item, so you can't auction him, trade him, sell him. Can't do anything. He's going to be on your roster until maybe you want to put him in a set down the road, but we're not going to be doing anything like that anytime soon. All right, as for the program, so you're going to be doing different challenges and it's going to re reward you the ultimate kickoff XP. We'll get to the challenges here in a second. Let's start off with the stats. Now, you're going to need to pass for 100 yards uh, in a game with at least four ultimate kickoff players in your lineup. Uh, this isn't going to be too difficult to get. They don't have to be the ones that are passing or anything like that. They just have to be in the lineup. They don't actually even have to be uh, on the field, right? So you're going to get two free ones in Troy Polamalu and Larry Fitzgerald just for logging into ultimate team. And the other two, just go get some of the lower overalls. Go ahead and throw those into the, uh, the lineup. The lower overalls are about maybe 1K or so, so it's not going to break the bank by any means. You're going to need to record 15 sacks, right? You get some XP for five sacks, and then once you get to 15 sacks, you get even more. doesn't matter with the ultimate kickoff player or anything like that. What does matter, you have to have at least one ultimate kickoff player in your lineup. You're already going to have four in. Just leave those in. That's all you need to do. You're going to rush for 1,000 yards. You get some XP at 500 and additional XP once you get to 1,000. 
Now let me cut in real quick and tell you right now uh, that as you can see in the top right hand corner, by doing all of this, it's granted me 10,550 uh, of the ultimate kickoff XP. Obviously we needed 10,000 to get Tron Armstead. So all of this is going to add up and actually get you Tron Armstead. We come here to your daily tracker. It's gonna grant you 800 ultimate kickoff points. So this is for getting 200 yards, purchasing a pack, and completing a set uh, from the set store. We'll talk a little bit about more of those sets here in a second. And I should be more specific. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth about the sets here, but you can get some XP for completing sets. Once you complete 10 ultimate kickoff sets, you're gonna be granted uh, some uh, 1,000 XP. You're also gonna get some additional XP once you, if you complete five. So you don't have to do 15, it's basically five, and then you get XP, and then once you get to 10, so 10 total, you get additional XP. And then we have mentioned that contender token that you get at uh, tier three. Well, you're gonna actually complete that by putting it in a set as well. That's gonna grant you some more XP. We're gonna get into that a little bit more in detail here in a second. Now, one final thing that you can do to earn some XP if you're a head-to-head -head guy, which I am. I was just chilling last night playing some solos. We actually do a little bit of both here. Definitely on stream, we play some solos because we don't really spend money. So we play some solos to uh, grant get some of these uh, cards. But uh, if you like to play head-to-head, -head, you can get some uh, ultimate kickoff points from that. We didn't do that, though. Uh, all we did was, if you come down here, uh, we recorded 20 tackles in an ultimate kick with an ultimate kickoff player in our lineup remember we're already gonna have four so you're good to go there you can do it in head-to-head -head or solo battles we just hopped into a couple solo battles we were already completing challenges by getting sacks and rushing yards and things like that so once you do this it's going to grant you an additional thousand xp the last thing we'll cover and then we're going to hop over to the sets and i'm going to talk a little bit about more of those in detail but is the challenges here so the good thing, and I was very relieved because I had been doing this for a little bit now, and I was very relieved to find out that I did not need 140 stars, which is what you can get in the challenges currently. Uh, you can actually get 144, but uh, I only needed 100, right? And so then that put me over 10,000 XP. I was very, very relieved of that. Uh, but once you complete uh, the 100 stars, it's obviously going to grant XP at different intervals, right? Uh, once you get 20, 40, 60, so on and so forth, right? You don't need to do the full 140 if you've done everything else that we've gone through here today. That's going to go ahead and grant you your Tron Armstead. Uh, now, real quick, I know I said we were going to drop, hop over to the sets, and we will do that immediately after this, but I do want to hop into some of these challenges and just show you these are not the most difficult challenges in the world. You can definitely do these pretty quickly. You want to make sure that you put it on the normal difficulty to get the two stars, and you want to go for the bonus star every single time. So for this first challenge, the requirement is to pass for 40 yards this drive, and you need to pass for 15 plus yards in three plays to get the bonus, right? Very simple very attainable. I'll go through a couple of more here just to kind of show you how easy they are and, and how quick you can get them done. Uh, on this one, you don't, uh, you have to not allow more than 40 yards on the drive and you don't need to allow more than one first down, right? Very easy, very attainable. Anybody can go and do that. We'll go through this one. This will be the last one. Pass for 65 plus yards in the second quarter. For the bonus star, you're going to need to score a touchdown. Now, the only thing that I found frustrating about this, because the challenges are easy, is you're actually going into the game with the head-to-head -head, uh, rosters or the actual real-life rosters. So you're not using your ultimate team, right? With the better speed and, and everything. So it can make it a little bit, little frustrating, but it was definitely something that was a little annoying to say the least. It's only probably for the first, I'd say, I felt like a hundred, but I'd say maybe the first like 16 to 20 challenges. And then the rest of them, you actually go in with your ultimate team. So it gets even easier. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, that was a little annoying. All right, let's take a look at these sets and go into detail a little bit more on those. So remember at tier three, you're going to get a week one contender token. You can actually plug that into this set right here. That's going to give you uh, the contender token and you can potentially use that to upgrade Julio Jones. That's going to be for another video, which I may or may not even make. Uh, but nonetheless, that's going to give you uh, one set completed. It's also going to give you the contender token. Now, for the other nine sets that you need to complete for the XP, you can actually come over to this 78 to 79 overall ultimate exchange uh, kickoff player. You can redeem that. Now, you can actually redeem this with some of the ultimate kickoff players you already have had in your lineup. So I would do this at the very end, right after you've completed all the challenges so you no longer need, uh, you know, those four cards in your lineup. But you can just continuously exchange this over and over and over again and it's going to continue to give you the 78 to 79, 78 to 79 overall ultimate kickoff player. So all you have to do is just continue to do this. And that's going to work your way all up to the 10 sets that you need to complete in order to get all of that XP. So there's no need to come up here and do any of these 87 overalls. Those are going to be way more expensive. All you have to do, just do this set right here. 
nine times after you've done the token set and you're going to be good to go. You really only ended up spending about maybe 2k on those two low overall cards. So very, very inexpensive way to be able to complete those sets. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like rating. It means a ton. If you enjoy the content here, man, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on to stay updated with all of my uploads. And then also, man, head on over to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash SlatronX. We have some good times over there playing some Madden. I would definitely appreciate a follow from you. Uh, I don't even know how to end this video because I haven't made a proper YouTube video in a while. So I'm just going to say I appreciate everybody's support, hanging out, following Twitch, and I hope everybody has a great day. Peace.